In the Singapore-based e-commerce and gaming company, already one of Asia's biggest digital entertainment platforms. And joining us here at Post9, the company's chairman and CEO, Forrest Lee, as well as Tom Farley, president of the New York Stock Exchange. Welcome, gentlemen. Good morning. So Good morning. you founded this company in 2009. We were just hearing a little bit about the history, mostly online gaming, but you also do e-commerce and digital payments. Talk about what you built. Sure, sure. Uh, my entrepreneur journey started with my passion for online games. A lot of wonderful memory back to college days of playing games with my friends till late at night. So I followed that passion and I built our first business, Garena, the game business in 2009. And Garena became profitable very early on. And it has become the largest online game platform in our region. So as we like build Garena, we build a very strong foundation for our company. And more importantly, we acquired a crucial asset, our local knowledge, and, the, and the, our local knowledge how to build and scale in each of our seven markets. And this is the core, our home core advantage. With that advantage, we launched Shopee, our e-commerce business in 2015. And uh, the business has been, I've been doing great, and we focus on three things. Number one, we went straight to mobile. And the number two, we chose the marketplace approach. And number three, so we focus on the most profitable categories, such as women's fashion, accessories, and the health and the beauty. The result have been fantastic, and the Shopee just reached over one billion US dollar of quarterly GMV in Q3 this year. So as we grew Garena and the Shopee, and we realized we needed to provide a payment solution for our consumers. Since less than half our region's population has a bank account, right. and even fewer have a credit, credit, credit card. So we turned that the solution into a new business line, AirPay. And uh, yeah. You know, I think you're the second newly minted billionaire founder from Asia we've had here at the New York Stock Exchange this week. Yeah. But the IPO process in the US was supposed to be broken, too much regulation. Nobody wants to go public. Why are you here? Well, I mean, this is a, to me, this is a dream come true. And even at like very early days, I started the company, I always have this uh, picture in my mind. One day, I'll bring my company to list it on NYSE. Mm. So this is very clear to me. Because? And being a public company, and it's a wonderful for, for us, number one. And for the new capital we, are, we raised, and that we're going to accelerate our growth. And also, like, uh, like being a public company, our stock become a currency for our, like, uh, to do some acquisition and, uh, and in our markets. And the, the second is, uh, uh, this is a great for our employees, right? And our employees have been working so hard for the past eight, nine years, and this is the time to reward them. And we want to motivate them and make them feel proud of our company. And uh, moving forward, and we are going to like, uh, have a more flex flexibility to have a stock-based compensation for our employees. And we want to attract more great talent for our, for our company.